to Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious pickled jalapeños that I know that you guys are going to love, or as we call it, escabeche. This is very simple to make, and they really taste delicious. And if you love spicy food like I do, well, you're going to enjoy these pickled jalapeños. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. that you have at home. I have bay leaves, oregano, table salt, garlic cloves, black pepper, all spice. I have organic chilies. These are very hot chili peppers and jalapenos, carrots, water, vinegar, and a glass jar for the escabeche vegetable oil. This is everything we need for this delicious pickled jalapeno recipe so let's get started i want to start by showing you my little onions of course that you could use regular big round onions or you could use these little stallions you know something i really like these stallions because when you add them to the pico jalapeno they absorb all the delicious flavor right here i just cut uh, cutting the edge of the onions right the edge and the ends so i could add them and they could absorb all the delicious pickle juice well here i'm going to transfer them to a plate and i'm going to continue with my carrots the carrots i'm only cutting the sides of them and then i'm going to peel them completely we want to make sure that we take all the skin off of the carrots and then slice them just like this here i have my jalapenos which i already took the little stems off and i'm gonna put them aside i have very small chilies that i'm gonna take the stems off remember all these chilies come from my garden they are organic okay now let's go and rinse all my veggies i'm gonna start with my onions and my carrots the carrots i try to do them half an inch all of them so they all cook at the same time and they will absorb all those juices here i have my jalapenos and my little hot peppers and you know something we just need to rinse them and make sure we take all the water out of the jalapenos what i'm going to do i'm just going to slice them through the middle and i'm going to add them like this to my jar but you know something if you don't want your pickled jalapeno too spicy you could take the seeds completely off but you know something? I really like spicy food, so I'm going to leave the seeds, seeds in. Now, what I'm going to do, I am ready to go and start cooking this. I have my pan really nice and hot, and I'm adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil. The first thing I'm adding is my carrots. You know, the carrots are a little hard, and they take a little longer to cook. We're going to cook them for just about two minutes making sure that they get really nice and cooked and a little bit softened when this um when the carrots are already cooked for two minutes we're going to add the onion for another two minutes and now i am ready to start adding all my jalapenos we want the jalapenos to cook for another two minutes until everything is really nice and incorporated once everything has been cooking i'm going to start adding all my spices this is going to really bring up all those flavors of the jalapeno the onion the carrots 
and at this time the carrots are already getting a little even softer i'm adding the salt and my garlic cloves and i'm just going to incorporate it completely making sure that all the spices are really distributed in all the veggies this really doesn't take too long and now i am ready to start adding two cups of, of water of course distilled water I'm adding two cups of water and I'm going to add two cups of vinegar. You could add vegetable vinegar, apple vinegar, the vinegar you have at home. I'm going to add two cups and then I'm just going to incorporate everything in here, making sure that everything is really nice and coated. I'm going to show it to you so that you could see all those spices everywhere. You know, the garlic is really distributed in all the jalapenos. Well, this, I'm just going to let it cook. Once it starts boiling, it's going to start boiling right at the edges. Okay, we're going to remove it when it's boiling right in the center. And to tell you the truth, it really doesn't take too long. It's about four minutes and everything is really nice and cooking the jalapenos have changed color and this is when you're going to turn it off remove it from the heat and you know something i have my glass jar here already we want to use glass jars to add all this pickled jalapeno and the rest of the ingredients i'm going to start adding everything in here and towards the end we need to add all those juices but look how delicious this looks all those beautiful vibrant colors you know the orange the red the green the little onions you know they're really gonna get so tender and they're gonna absorb all the delicious vinegar right now it's really nice and hot we're gonna let it cool room temperature and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for one day and then it's ready to enjoy with the delicious carne asada this is completely done and now i am ready for the presentation so i'll see you back in a little bit Of course that they are organic they're from my yard today this morning I said let me go and pick them out to make this delicious escabeche I hope that you could prepare it at home enjoy it with your family like I enjoyed here with my family if you liked and loved my recipe please don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up share my video with your friends your neighbors your relatives and of course, don't forget to share, share it in social media so Cooking with Gloria will keep growing. Thank you so much for playing this video and the rest of my videos. Don't forget to push the notification bell. And if you did already, well, every time I make a new recipe and delicious recipe, yes, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. 
And of course, I'll see you in the next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.